Previously on polyamory. The high elves that they seem to be protecting, that we may well encounter while working this job, might be a source to getting you a hold of some of that, um, no nightmares drug. As far as things that perhaps might cheer you up, how about I show you one that you can learn? Yeah, what are you teaching? Um, it's the gust cantrip. You get to use a blast of wind to knock things away from you. Hooray! So, uh, Kraut Manor. Yeah? There's a bit of a staff shortage because it was on fire. Yeah, that was my old group. I have questions. We went there trying to deal with a an issue that involved a, a lack of water access. Um, big corporation trying to privatise a water source. Not a great thing. I think the plan was we were going to go and try and talk the corporate overlord into going, ah, you know... I've seen the error of my ways. I am what started as a conversation ended as a house on fire. We got as many of the staff in the building out of the building as we could. A bunch of counterfeit traps are being made, and you can see how that would be a problem for the polyarmory, because knockoff parts not only are going to eat into their sales, people not buying the actual traps, but when things start going wrong with them, you then get a bunch of complaints saying, oh, you sell low-quality, substandard uh, traps, if we go and find some warehouses, we can probably find some knockoff uh, knock stock. So the, the knoll is on like one of those little golf carts, <laughs> but it's being pulled by a pig. Oh. But it's clearly too small to be doing this job, so it's only going very slowly. Boss, there is something peculiar out here. Some strange little fellow has just leapt backwards in front of me. What I want to do is cover his mouth with one hand, and start snapping fingers with the other. So it's quiet, but it fucking hurts. <laughs> we work for Obman. This is Obman's warehouse. I mean, we have uh, always someone watching after the high elves. But they are small business. It is mostly for their own protection. In the distance, you can sort of hear... You're starting to hear what sounds like sort of chains clanking. Moving in and out of these portals are gnomes. From Mara, you remember a time, some time ago, you went into a warehouse. Yeah. A warehouse full of, well, what was left of some starving gnomes still tied together. Yes, and we tried to release them, I believe. You did, in fact, release them. Yeah. You both had... Out of the factory, absolutely no problem. Close the door behind you. Do you perhaps give a, a jaunty wave to the person? Yeah, yeah, a sort of like... Security person? Oh, well, what's your Instagram handle? We'll, uh, we'll tag you when it goes out. Big Dog Hello, good evening and welcome to Polyamory. At the end of last episode, you had done a little bit of investigation in Brilmora, you and Skitata. Uh, you were headed back to town on the card. Uh, at some point, uh, you lost track of Skitata, who you assumed was just sitting in the back, invisible. Because that how he do, but you can't tell if he's with you or not at this point. Um, I mean, I... I would like to hope I've not like managed to lose a member of the the team irreparably. This is, that it would probably not bode well for my relationship with Dusty. Oh, Dusty's not worried about it at all. It's it's Skitata. He just does what he do. <laughs> is this, he is, wanders this off a lot. Skitata sometimes just wanders off. It's not like I've lost uh, I've I've lost a <laughs> child and I'm like, oh god, where have I left? Them? Can we do a message over the Tannoy system? <laughs> They might just turn up in, like, three weeks' time serenading a brick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I love it. Uh, so, R Romara gets back and, and reconvenes with the rest of the group. Um, just just checking. Skidata banished... I, I, I don't need to worry about that, right? I would do the opposite of worry. In fact, the number of problems you have have just decreased considerably. 
<laughs> if he comes back, he comes back. If he doesn't, then we might fall over him. It's fine. Okay. He may even solve some other problems while he's gone. Wink. Goodness. So, yes, everyone, recap time. Bromara recaps everyone who may or may not have been there for 100% of last episode on what was occurring. Um, so, now, now that we've got um, the whole party back, one of us is good at infiltration, huh? Bromara looks... Uh, pointedly at D. Pointedly at D, yes. <laughs> D will feign surprise and look around confusedly. So, I'm, I'm going to throw this your way. Um, right now we seem like we've got two major threads we could be following, which are maybe wait around for Wednesday to follow this cart and see where it goes, try and track down where these these traps are coming from. Mm. Or, we got the High Elves in town that we could start working out what we want to do there. I guess the only concern is do would, do we blow our cover if we do that? Do we leave that until we're done sne- sneaking? Or do you have a sneaky plan for that? What, what do you think, Sneaky Sneakerson? Hmm. Dee's gonna just ponder for a moment. What does D have any kind of insight on the High Elves? Where were you last episode? What were you off doing? Were you poking uh, around town? Sure, yeah. That, that would probably be my D's inclination. Okay, I would say then that D had a, just had a bit of a meander around more of the city centre bit. Uh, mm-hmm. You almost walked to the library. You saw the sort of big spire of it, but were distracted by other things. There was uh, a, a large theatre that people seemed to be queuing up in huge queues for uh, uh, for the Underdark Has Talent uh, <laughs> show. That 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 was a bit of a curiosity. Like, what are all these people doing queuing to get in there? What's that all about? And. Um, you would have seen some of the, the larger stores. You maybe took a wander around Bumbles, had a look at the departments, enjoyed the whole section with the Nolotov cocktails and <laughs> the various weapons. Uh, um, perhaps wandered around the, the Polyarmory Museum itself. Mm. You know, you're in Groibon for the first time, looked at the fancy things. There's a huge glass case at the moment being protected by lots of people. They have just got a new item in it's Modratar. The Hammer of Ban. Ah, Ban. Recently retrieved. Ban, uh, recently retrieved Ban's Hammer. Yes. Modrutar. Um, yes, that's the one. Uh, so you had a chance to, to have a look at that. And um, I think at some point perhaps you wandered down the street and, and maybe half noticed uh, Imagine a Surf Shack. <laughs> and there's like a piece of driftwood on the front of it above the door that's been maybe polished. And it's just got uh, painted on it in, like, blue paint, the High Elves. <laughs> and uh, uh, how perceptive is D? Is D, like, always on the lookout for what do? D is always looking to turn something to their favour, so... Okay. So, D definitely noticed that there was a knoll standing across the street, clearly sort of watching the place. So not like security stood outside the front door, but no. just like hovering, watching. From... Just hovering, and and I think D being perceptive would have spotted a connection between these two. Mm-hmm. I'm just thrown at the high elves. Like I was expecting it to be some sort of depressing little apothecary with sad little chemistry nerds. No, no. This sounds way cooler. This, this, I'm, I'm assuming this is like hang ten dude surfer stoners. Just sort of, yeah, yeah, yeah t- totally, bro. Now I've got, um, you know, in Borderlands, TK Baha when he gets his little flowered yeah, shirt on. Yeah, yeah. That's now my mental image of just both, or however many of them there is. Is it two? It is two. I think we've got two from somewhere. It is two. I don't know if that's been mentioned anywhere, but there are only two. I, of them. I, I think you well incited. Yeah, have a point of inspiration. <laughs> um, bless you. Did D see anybody going in and out? Not really. It didn't seem to be super busy. One of those shops that maybe has like a counter and a couch in it, but mm-hmm. doesn't really have a lot of custom. 
is this is this mm. the kind of imagine it, a smoke shop? Yeah. Do do we know yep. mm, how much of their business is above the table or not? Like it, it's Groibon, so it's probably all above the table because yeah. no one gives a fuck. No, no one gives, like, okay, so they're, they're probably not being like you know you got to nudge, nudge, say the secret password to buy some purple worm. Type probably thing. not, no. Probably not. Okay, okay. Mm. I mean, this is like a whole area where people just sell drugs over the counter at the bar at a rave. So, yeah, I, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> so, what's it going to be? Where would you like to head to? Mm. I think that D has an inclination to head to the High Elves. Considering considering that that uh, they are the. The sneaky one, I think Bramar is willing to, to follow that lead. Dusty has a question. Yes? So there's a delivery from down south on Wednesdays. Yeah. And a portal in the middle of the fucking room. Yeah. Why the fuck is there a delivery cart on Wednesdays? Well, like, as... They, they can make portals. Why the fuck are they delivering? My guess would be those knockoff traps are a little bit unstable. You maybe don't want to take one through a portal. Would be just a hazarding, I guess. Mm. I, I I don't know that I would want to take something that could potentially explode, given a too much of a nudge, through an interdimensional portal. Well, mm. I'm assuming that the same mug that makes the portals isn't the same one that's carrying stuff through it, on account of them being chain ganged. Yeah, no, I I I am super on team. At some point, we should go. We should go try and get them sorted. I his his my. Pondering on on the whole portal thing, uh, the last time I was at one of those warehouses, the whole thing had blown up, burnt down. Just hazarding a guess, but unstable lock off traps. That's that's part of why I'm thinking a little bit of instability and maybe why some of these are being delivered by road. I have reason to suspect that that's maybe why they're not using the portals for those. Hmm. Like, my guess is that, the, like, one of those portals probably does lead into the back of the High Elves shop, I would guess. If that's the case, it would, makes it even more enticing to go there. I wonder what you'd look like as a High Elf, love. Well, we can always find out. I'm, I'm down for yeah. this plan, if everyone else is down for this plan. I'm down for this plan. I'm a sucker for this plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the DM approves. Does that mean we did a good or we did a bad? <laughs> No, I'm just really something. glad you made a plan. <laughs> Look at us go, we made a plan. Do the High Elves have a speech pattern? You don't know that yet. You've... Do you want to roll history to that know is... if you've met any High Elves before that had a, a speech pattern? That would that would be good. That would be good. Oh, good. A zero in history. Oh. Good job. Uh... So you rolled a 12. Uh... You know, like most people know, that High Elves are, you know, quite fancy. They think themselves above Elves who are already quite fancy. What's, what's your best posh voice? Oh, uh, based, on, based on everybody's jokes, I would have definitely gone with a California surfer bro. <laughs> you can still go with a California surfer bro I'm, if you want. I'm sure, tr- I'm I, sh- I very much I'm, might. I'm curious if it's possible to combine a California surfer voice with the, oh, yes. <laughs> radical. Oh, girl. yes. Radical. Let's <laughs> hang ten, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, God. Can you do Oof. one of those, Nick? <laughs> Ooh, I've been given a challenge, so let's see. Uh, first, D will go ahead and shape shift to a high elf. What that face do? How fancy that face? <laughs> How salty that baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and lean into this. I will be a very a tall, rather striking male uh high elf. Um I'll have to change the sound sa- change the sound of my voice coloration, hair length. Uh, wow, this is a lot of things. Long hair. Really posh surfer. Yes. Long hair. Let's go with a sandy blonde and a uh, medium... Di- oh, whatever voice I do, I guess, will be what I do. I have a question. Yeah. You said tall. Tall than Duster? Mm-hmm. 
How tall is Dusty? Six foot dead. How tall are high elves? How high that elf? <laughs> Pretty fucking high. Elves range from under five to over six feet tall and have slender builds. Okay, so you can be over six feet tall, so how high that elf go? I think I think six two. Dusty's a happy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like being how how haunt that dusty though? <laughs> yes. One entire yes. Mm-hmm. Do you will pet dusty said. So, uh, mm-hmm. what what is the plan for for our approach of this high elf place? Like, uh, is is D going in alone or risking taking the rest of the group? D's inclined to go alone just to figure out what sort of threats there might be. Yeah. Uh, dusty wants to go and talk to. How conspicuous is the null? About perception? You you mean strength? <laughs> no, I mean perception. Can D tell D the the null how conspicuous? That's a botch. In fact, you have to have somebody point the null out, do you? So assume it, if we don't end up going together, um, Romara does have mm-hmm. basically thirty foot um, telepathy. So we we can basically do mental walkie-talkies. That's exactly what Dee was wishing they could do. So we have that as an option. What's what's the plan? Dusty wants to clutter in front of the Nile. What? Like, what I mean? Just generally be in sort of their general vicinity. Not like an active distraction. Like I don't want to talk to them. Just like sit there and. I don't know, faff with puff or something. See, you don't want to go with my plan, which was like, pretend to be tourists and ask for directions and sort of stand in the way. I mean, why not both? That that potentially works. Dee, would you like some, some potential distracting cover? That would always be welcome. Although Dusty's good at being just dirty in general, I'm sure that he could be interestingly doing nothing. Dusty sheds audibly. Should we, uh, should we, the, the, yeah? Yeah. After, after you, Bromara. Br- Bromara's gonna do her very best to look sort of slightly uh, lost and confused and walk up to this, this knoll and go, um, oh, hi, I'm, 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 I'm really sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not from around here and I can't seem to find the, the train station. I know it's around here somewhere. I, I, and... Pull out just like a big piece of paper for like a for, for like a map with some hand drawn there. Ha- some very scrappy f- directions that lead nowhere. And going like I I can't work out where I'm supposed to go. Do, do you you seem like you might be from 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 locally? Do you do you know? Can you help me work out where I'm supposed to go? Love, no, we don't we don't need directions. I will I will find the way myself. Just no no no. We can't. I I, I we've got the map. This I'm sure this nice person will help us find directions. The Noll is just looking slightly agitated with you both. Uh, zero acknowledgement of... The, the, there's a, there's ignorance. the fact that you seem to be sort of talking amongst yourselves, yeah. it's a certain sort of rolling eyes like, oh god, is this some arguing couple? Yeah, so, sorry, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to, to help us work out where we're going, would you? Cause I, I, we're just, I feel like I've been going around in circles for hours. So you look for purpose, perhaps? Uh, ma- mainly, mainly the the train station rather than um, metaphysical purpose of of any kind. People of all ages and genders, we've just invented the train in in the Underdark. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> okay. Um. I, I, okay. The uh... no, it's fine. <laughs> we've got the oyster cart. Now we've got trains. <laughs> I like any world that has trains. In it, now, okay. I, now I want. <laughs> now I want to know why you've never travelled by train before. Um. um they're very. Maybe it stands really for something. That's what I thought. It's no, the no, it's fine. Totally rad alternative. No, it's a train. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to get to surface gates. You go up there, and it's about thirty minutes west. I'm, 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 sh- I'm sure that's not right though, because I, my, the, 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 the map says I just have to turn left and then left and then left and then one more left, and I should be there. That is. Three circles. Also, this map only shows overworld. You cannot look for street names in Underdark when you are looking at the map of overworld. I, I, but then if this is if this is the if this is the Underdark, 
and I have a map of the overworld. How does the how does the library line up with the library then? Because the library's here and the library's there. This is stupid map. Where do you get this? You buy this from some kind of tourist store? It, yes, I, I I got it from the. From then the... you are an idiot. Never buy any from, from from tourist store. Speaking of idiots, perhaps you would like to buy something, some kind of memento, local delicacy. Uh, what, what what kind of uh, memento? Go see friend over there. Uh, and he he points straight at that the uh, the high elf shop. Ah well. Our distraction has turned into a rather convenient excuse for us to uh, to be in there. Meanwhile, Dee has wandered into the high elf store, looking like a, a fancy high elf, would you say? Did your clothes change as yes. well? Or? Okay. Um, so looking like a very fancy high elf, you've just walked into this store. There's like painted skateboard decks, like on the wall. <laughs> Clearly, they've all been, like, very fancily hand-painted, but also at some point used, so there's a bit of grind damage on them, but, you know, these people don't fuck about. some character. Exactly. Uh, There are, like, skateboard trucks and wheels for sale. Uh, They're all in little glass Mm -hmm. cabinets. There's also, like, the counter is just covered in, in rolling papers of different types. There's, like, a price list on the wall for... Just about every drug you've ever heard of. <laughs> um, and some you haven't. They they have like grinders and 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 pipes of various types. There's a cabinet of bongs of various colours and sizes. There's um, magical vaporizers. It's a he- it's a head shop. And there is some Stoned, frankly, looking uh, high elf sitting behind the counter, uh, smoking what smells a lot like dove leaf. D will wander just for about a minute, trying to see if the uh, counter person will try and come and engage. How are you doing so? Are you like looking interested or confused, or how? How would you? D wants to give off what. Which what they feel like is a vague appearance of interest, but also like, huh, I'm, t- I'm a little bit too good for this. Not looking so interested you come off as a cop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. More like a, like a, okay, this is okay, yeah, but yeah, I've, I've, I'm I've sure been, there's something better. I've been in drug shops before, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm chill. Oh, I'm cool, chill. I'm chill. Okay, so, this one high elf is sitting behind the counter smoking this joint, flicking through a magazine and just the way you move across the floor I think you, you squeak on a floorboard and suddenly he's like, whoa! <laughs> Customer! Wow! Hey, can I help you? Do you want anything at all? Mm, yes, quite, my guy. <laughs> I'm really so interested, though. It's so good. <laughs> Perhaps you have something a little off the menu. I mean, no, my dude. Everything we sell is right up here on the board. Uh, we mm. got, like, anything you could possibly want. And anything we haven't got, you can ask for and we'll get it. What is that you have there? I Do you want to just take a moment to sniff? Ah, dove leaf. I can, I can get you some dove leaf. Like we, what do you want? Like we've got like different strains. Like what strength do you want? We have edibles. I'm, we can do your edibles. I'm, I'm listening to Nick do that voice, and all I can hear is like a concerned parent who's never done drugs going. <laughs> yeah, yes, I would like to inject one marijuana. <laughs> Not even once. Don't inject marijuana even once. <laughs> I need a full pod bomb. <laughs> you sell them pre-filled. Oh, sure, my dude. No problem at all. Oh, no. I didn't mean... <laughs> like I said, we got everything. Uh, do you need anything to go with that, or are you, you cool? Hey, we sell snacks and stuff. Oh, yes. Uh, snacks would be lovely, but... It's definitely, because when you finish that, you are going to get the mad munchies. Lovely. However, when I do sleep, it has been giving me some issues. I wonder, my dude, perhaps you might have something to help with that. 
Oh, what, like Some... you waking up with a crick in the neck? I mean, that sounds like a pillows issue. I used to get that all the time. I went to, like, Bumbles and got this really fluffy motherfucker. It was great, yo. <laughs> no, it's it's more when I'm asleep. I happen to have these vivid, vivid issues. Oh, my dude, you have come to the right place. We are the High Elves. Hey, Travis! Travis, I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the bit. And you just hear this sort of... Ah, melt back. <laughs> <laughs> and then like a, a crash, like someone's knocked a glass off a table. <laughs> and then just stumbling through the bead curtain at the back. There's like an I- another High Elf. They are the whitest High Elf you've ever seen. Uh, but they also have blonde dreads. Yeah, <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> oh right, yeah, sure. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, did you get to the bit with the uh, where are the high elves? Yeah, that's why I called you. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm Travis, and I'm Hank. We are the high elves, and uh, we found this whole thing with like real super secret, right? We can sell you Purple Worm. Not only is it the most amazing trippy experience you will ever experience, but also it permanently stops you having nightmares. Hmm. My dudes, I am David, and D will raise a fist for like a fist bump. Oh, and they're they're both well up for that. (laughs) It's a three-way fist Are they doing the explosion (laughs) backwards? Of course they're doing the explosion backwards. (laughs) And then then they're they're giving each other a fist bump as well. (laughs) Just to make sure no one's left out, you know. Well, I feel like we have a wonderful deal. Uh, So, So how much do you need? Uh, Like, it's one geld. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, for like one. Uh, how, How many do you need? Are you having a party or is this just like a home thing? Because this is just a home thing on your own. Be careful not to light your dove leaf near a cockpit in case you pass out and burn the rug again. And uh, and, and and Hank looks pointedly at Travis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that too has happened to me. Well, I was thinking perhaps three or four. Oh my dude, you are going to have a great time. So, sure, yeah, uh, I mean, you need snacks with that. You probably won't be super munchy at the time, but... You know, you're going to wake up and be like, do I have something easy to eat? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. These biscuits are gener- generally for babies, but like you can just put them in the corner of your mouth and dribble on them and then suck after a while and they taste amazing. They're super weedy. <laughs> hmm. Three copper. Yes, I will. They sound like a marvelous treat. Okay, pack into the My rusks dear. and four purple worms. Uh, anything else we can get you? We have a whole supply of smoking supply, should you fill the need for anything else for your amazing party? Also, can we get hooked up for the party? I mean, if not, that's fine. You know, we don't want to have step, but, uh, uh, you know, at about this time, I think you two would be wandering in. Yeah. Uh, he- upon hearing this, Bromara is going to mentally message to D. If you send them both to a fake address at a certain time, this place might be empty and unguarded Mm. if we wanted to snoop around. Yes. I'm sure two cool dudes like yourselves are very busy in the next couple hours, though. It is very soon. I mean, like, this is our place. We can shut up whenever we want. Yeah. Like, we can just go whenever. No one's our boss. We're like our own boss, because we make the products, and that's what people want, yeah? Well then, bros, <laughs> I can tell you exactly where a party is. There is a bit of a line. Where was that play thing um, that the I theater, saw? Oh, the the... Uh... Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Under God, God's I'm... Got Talent. Uh, so that would have been the Multiversal Music Theater? <laughs> okay. The Multiversal Music Theater Bros. Oh my god, those guys are way harsh. You're not with that Simon dude? He's such a dickbag. No, 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 no. Above, there is, of course, the harsh 
party. But it's all underground. That, where? that is where it's popping. Above the theater, but underground. That's mind-meltingly awesome, my dude. Sure, we'll be there. Uh, do we need to, like, drop a name or anything? I will personally put your names, my guys. Okay. And another fist bump out. Uh, they're both going to fist bump you and fist bump each other at the same time. It's a three-way fist bump now. And, uh, yeah, they are... Yeah, they're very happy. Very, very happy about this. I, th I think it might Perfect. previously have looked like Travis was just going to go back to bed, but he his seems to have perked up a bit. Okay. So we're here now, yeah? You're, yep, you're in 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 the high up shop. Did Dusty catch the bit about the curing the nightmares, or can it be taken as read that people generally know that it's them that does it? Yeah, I mean, you already knew that I've, from I've, talking I've, to the Yeah, that, that was something we did discuss last episode, was Purple Worm is the stuff, and that I know, this is meant... part of why Bromara suggested this mission first. A moment, would they be like, how do you know that? Or is it just everyone knows that? It's probably not a major secret, I don't think. Okay. Uh, and anyone who's sort of interacted with it will know what it does. Oh, okay. Pretty much. I've got a question before you go to your party, fellas. Oh, sure. Like, what can we get you, dude? Where do you put the nightmares when you've when you've done with them? Oh, like it was a weird side effect. So we were like, <laughs> you probably don't believe this, but we were at wizard school. And um, there's like this hell ceremony when you get to the end of the first year, you're supposed to go on like some vision quest. So they make you go through a portal and very carefully pick up like the 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 roar the worm fungus. I don't know if you know that. Not uh, any of you wizards. No, mate. No. Okay. So they make you get like this fungus and then you have to bring it back and they put you in this room full of all these candles and like you you take the fungus you stick it in your mouth it's all chewy and nasty and just tastes of ick like uh, licking an ashtray or whatever and and it just makes you feel real fucking nasty if you can keep it down that's the first thing but after that you have to go on this cool spirit quest Anyway, we were so bummed out after the spirit quest, we were like, we're not finishing the second year of this yet. But we did work out how we could make it so it didn't make you feel like shit, and instead feels amazing. But as a, a side effect, it now does this weird thing where you can't even dream anymore. It's kind of like a service we provide, right? We can get rid of everyone's nightmares. We've got a plan. But, like, where do they go? I mean, I don't know, dude. We just get rid of them. They're just gone forever. It's, I mean, don't question it, right? But, like, what's 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 the, the, the big plan, then? He says you've got a plan. Oh, it's, like, super secret, but you seem pretty chill, right? So... Yeah, yeah, where, where are you... Where, we were partying with you later. We're I mean, you've got a lot party. of tattoos, my dude. So, yeah, I know, right? So, clearly, like, you know, on the level. Yeah. But, uh, we're building a spore bomb. A spore bomb? Yeah. We're gonna blow this thing, and the spores will go everywhere, and everyone will have no nightmares anymore. It's gonna be amazing. I and everyone will be like, Wow, the High Elves did it! You're not just dropouts! Because we're not. I, I'm... Radical. Yeah, I'm guessing the the, the the side effect of that is you will be getting everyone high. I mean, a little bit. It's only the spores, but we can fix it. It'll be okay. Like, we'll work we'll something out and, you know, it'll probably be fine. Everyone will be really chill afterwards too, right? Yeah, yeah. When, when, are, you, when, are, you, when are you doing this? I mean, there's still a lot of work to be done, you know? It could take a few months, who knows? But it's something like a little pet project we're working on. I mean, between, like, working on our boards, you know? If you, uh, see over there, we've, uh, you know, we've been working on those for a while. Oh, yeah. I painted that one, and then, like, I realized that grinding on it kind of got rid of all the cool shit. There was like a skull in the middle with like a snake through the eyes and oh. then like out of its mouth. It looked 
really gnarly. <laughs> that that one covered in eyeballs is that? Yeah, a, yeah. Oh, is that is that that god the the eyeball god? Yeah, yeah, like totally an eyeball god. Yeah. Oh gosh. Mm, so Bromora is squirreling away this information about hey, this is a thing that uh, Dendar probably wouldn't like. You guys are definitely doing better without Wizard School World in your back. Right? Like, who needs all those riddles? We can do magic and shit, but, you know... Oh, could you show me a portal? I've never seen one. They sound really cool. Like, oh, you're in man, one they're place. really hard, and, like, material components. Also, this shop is really kind of small for that. Oh, are they, are they big? I thought it was, like, just, just like yeah, an like, elf. six, seven foot across, you know? Oh. What about the back? I mean, like, it's smaller than it is out here, you know? We just... There's like a bed out there, and, and that's kind of it. Uh, can Bromara roll insight to try and tell, are they being legit? Because if so, yeah. Do the thing! Yeah. Because <laughs> if not, where, where are those portals going to and from? Uh, uh, insight's not great, but I'll go for it. I would also like to cite that in. Party insight, then. 19. Hooray. Uh, 14. Uh, well, that's two passed already, so I'll, I'll allow that. Yeah, they're totally on the level. So they, they, the, the portal that we saw with the worm... I will, I will let you skew that insight into another subject. They mentioned that they went through the portal as part of their test. Yeah. The portal goes wherever the worm is. Okay, because my assumption had been that this was how they were getting their supply of worm to make purple worm was via those portals we saw in the warehouse. They're going to get the worm. The raw ingredient. Yeah. So if we get a portal, we could destroy all the worm raw ingredient? Theoretically. Make it extinct oh. or something? Mm, as far as you possibly know. Okay. In that case, is there anything else we want to do before leaving, waiting for them to leave for the party, then sneaking back in? I mean, I would suggest one thing. Paying, pay? yeah. yeah, yeah. Well done, everyone. Yeah, D D was. I assume D had done that. How how much is my total? Okay, so you got five purple worm and mm -hmm. some rusks. So that's five gold and three rusks. So that's um, five, that's five gold and three copper, my dude. D will pay with a happy smile. Uh, they will hand you the purple worm in a bag, and and the rusks is just in a little little. Like a baking paper wrap with some tape on it to hold it shut. Aww. Aww. It's still kind of warm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So, with this, I suppose the only impediment to us sneaking back in is going to be that knoll over the road. On the way out, Dusty's going to leave them some vegetables as forage because he feels like they probably need them. Okay. Um. Like, just friendly, and, and here's something to help you feel better. And here's some groceries. Yeah. Ah, uh, thanks, my dude. Um, have a have a cookie, and and they had Dusty a cookie. Thanks, thanks, fellas. But just just promise me you're gonna have a vitamin this week. Just just the one. Vitamin D, my dude. And he takes a long puff on his joint. <laughs> just he's gonna walk out laughing. <laughs> Was the implication that he's just gonna suck some dick? Dovely. Oh, I, I forgot it was going to be the first thing. I'll have some vitamins, I'll suck some dick. <laughs> I'm going to suck a dick. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I don't know what their orientation the is. The confidence of that statement made me very happy. <laughs> Beautiful. So, what do? Dusty gives his cookie to D. Aww. D will also give a cookie to Dusty. <laughs> Romara will sit here sad with no cookies. <laughs> Oh, Bromar will get a cookie. Yay! <laughs> okay, um, in which case, can we add... Dusty and Bromar have both got a cookie. Yay! In which case, can you all add a rusk to your character sheet? D, can you add four rusks to your character sheet and five purple worm? Yes. I have a rusk now. You do? da da da, -da! It's a special rusk because it came from D. I did not expect to have to put a rusk onto my character sheet today. Yeah, but you can just stick it in the corner of your mouth when you're really high and just suck the wheaty goodness off of it occasionally. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that is an interesting idea. Rusk's the ultimate stoner food. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I know, I used to eat them while I was high as bulls. 
Um, Nobody's so, giving do... Puff any rusk. Um, Puff can have half of uh, Bromara's rusk. You walked. You don't have the cart with you. No. Oh, okay. And, and, and Puff does half. not really leave the cart much anymore. Bromara will save half the rusk. Oh. Just do uh, so yeah. save half a rusk. So, are we going to try and sneak back into this place in a minute then? Yes. Okay. So you head out into the street. Are you going to walk away a little bit, or I I think maybe we walk away and like the the opposite direction of the venue. We've told them okay. and just like around the corner. Game okay, plan. game plan. We go and show the knoll our rusks, while D goes round the corner and turns into a high elf. Isn't D already a high elf, or do you mean a different high elf? I mean one of the high elves. Oh, okay. Yep. Yes, that's what I was thinking as well. Which one? Travis or Hank? Travis, because Travis seems like the kind of elf to forget something. <laughs> yeah. So may- maybe we all go around the corner and then you bring us back, sort of playing up the like, oh yeah, I, I forgot something, but uh, I just had to bring our, our new friends and my new friends back to-, to get something from the store. Yeah. So you're walking back into the store? Are you waiting for the others to leave? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Gotcha, gotcha, after gotcha. the others have left. Okay, so you guys leave. Yeah. And then the high elves, the high elves shut the shop up. They they pull the slatted door shut behind them, and just stick a bit of rope o- over a little hitch <laughs> on the sides, and that's really all that holds the door shut. Ah, uh, well, that that saves my plan, which had been. Play up the forgetful stoner act and be like, does the knoll have a spare key? Because I imagine these guys forget their keys quite often. (laughs) Okay, and then... They probably do, which is why it's like this. (laughs) You see them uh, moving off down the street. Well, staggering off down the street. A cloud of... Do I witness any fist bumps? A cloud of green smoke behind them. No, they're sort of just like... Vaguely hugging each other for support more than anything else. And, and and trundling off down the street. So they're walking in your direction or the opposite direction? Would have been the opposite. Our intent was to hide in the opposite direction yeah. that they were would have been going. Okay. You... Uh, are you going to give it a minute or... Yes. Give it, give um, it plausibly long enough. In the meantime, do you will shift into Travis and we should take the long way around to make it seem like we're coming back from the same direction. Good plan. <laughs> okay, so you wander back towards a how how are you playing this? Are you just walking purposefully or Oh no. Staggering. Maybe even being supported potentially by Dusty and Bromara. Think, okay. Like an like an arm around each of them. Yeah. It's fine, just just really play it up. Just tell us how much you love us both. Oh, you guys are so cool. Oh, I'm so glad you guys wandered into my shop today, bros. I'm really sorry. I forgot everything. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll get you a snack. We'll get you on the level. And we'll get back going again. Yeah, we'll get you, that we'll sounds get you good. so many rusks. Oh my Come god. On, mate. I could eat 50 rusks. Ma- maybe not 50 rusks, mate. We'll, we'll maybe 100 rusks. 100 rusks, yes. <sighs> Yeah. Right, well, we'll start you off on one. Uh, How's that? One, and then and then five. Yeah, yeah. And then five hundred. How does this door work? It... Oh wait, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so Travis boink, opens the opens the the rope off of the hitch, and and the door swings in pretty much on its own. Yeah. Uh, you head into the shop. Yeah. The lights are all out. Are you going to shut the door behind you? Yeah, shut the door behind yeah. us. Okay. Um, gonna roll perception. Fifteen to spot any sneaky wizard traps or security measures. Nothing you can see. Do you also want to take a look around? What is D looking for? Um, yeah, just any indication that Travis and Hank are a little not as goofy as they let on. Maybe there's something a little more. Uh, the whole place reeks of Doveleaf? Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, uh, and re- fairly recently baked cookies. So recently baked cookies and recently baked high elves. Yes. <laughs> In that case, Bromara feels fairly safe to 
just wander to the back and start having a look around to see what can be seen and discovered. Okay. It's dark right now. I have dark vision. Okay. Oh. Yay! Just has decided not to breathe. Can I see anything in the back of any particular interest? Um, there is a small pallet bed. The the mattress is kind of dirty. The duvet's been sort of thrown off the side. It's enough for two really slender people to sleep in, mm. should they need to. Uh, there's like a teddy bear in the corner. Aww. It looks like it's been very well loved. Aww. Um, yeah, it's just a, no, it's just a small place. There's like, there's like an ashtray that's yeah. slightly piled up on the side. There is a, a very tiny oven of sorts. You assume it's magically powered. Nothing visible immediately that could be clues in this whole uh, investigation. Nothing yet. Yeah. Um, am I right to roll investigation to see if I can find anything that might... Like, I assume they wrote down how to fix the purple worm. They don't seem to have great retention. That's an 18 to investigation. Um... So you can't see anything like openly out, but you have a, a fumble down the side of the bed. You find what is undoubtedly a, a collection of slightly crusty, sordid scrolls <laughs> with some quite lewd imagery on it. Mm. Why are you rolling? I don't know. Why are you rolling? She's rolling. I don't know why she's rolling. C- could everyone get on board with being more worried? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I'm on board with being worried. Um, I mean, D is in character. They can't worry at all right now. Hmm. One second. I can't use any of my magic that would potentially help. That's another roll. Um, Should we fuck off? Do we know that anything is amiss? Do In universe, do we know that ominous rolls are happening? No. I don't see why we would. Here's the thing, as a player, my instinct right now is get out, run, it's fine. We we learned about the spore bomb, get out. But I don't know how to justify that in character. So we've looked around, we've found some... We've looked around in the dark and found some lewd scrolls. Um, turn the light on. Ah, you want to turn the light on? I had dark vision, I assumed I wouldn't need a light on for me to see things. Search this weed shop top to bottom, and all we can find is porno, porno, porno. <laughs> I don't care. I love it. <laughs> I have perfect vision in the dark. You do. So there's no reason to turn on the light and thus alert the knoll outside. Yeah, we, we closed the door and we were at the back. I assumed the light wouldn't. It's I... a slatted wooden door. Uh, okay, then I don't turn the, the light on. Do you want to turn the light on or not? I'm scared of ominous rolls. <laughs> okay. Does anyone have any ideas that are smarter than turning the light on? Keeping the light off. <laughs> okay. Well, I looked around with my my good ability to see in the dark. Who else has got plans before these rolls start getting worse? Well, like, I've found some crusty mags, and I'm reasonably satisfied that if there were some, like... Okay. Jane... The what? DM's just rolled a one, and I don't know if that's bad for the DM or bad for us. I'm just four. glad that I've got the indefinite um, holding breath thing, because I feel like you're just going to get higher and higher the longer we stand here as well. That's not going to help. Does D recall where they pulled the purple worm from? Behind the counter. D would like to go and inspect over there and see if maybe it's in a collection of things. Has D got pur- uh, or... pur- purple vision? <laughs> Dark vision. No. Uh, t- send and me over D there. is I'll... fumbling around. Send me over, I'll have a look. Romara goes and looks. Brilmara, go and look for the thing. Romara looks around under that under the, the desk. Yeah, there's like a big jar full of purple worms. There's, there's no regular worm? No regular worm, no. No. Anything about the jar? Maybe about how it's packaged? It's like a kilner jar. It's got one of those little clips on it. No regular worm anyway. Hmm. And what did they say specifically about the purple one? They said that they make it. They fix it. They fix it. Because the implication there was that they that get baby. the worm and the worm arrives to them and they fix it. Yep. But apparently not here. Or they had some 
because they fixed it. Yeah. And this is all, all of it. Compared to the amount that was getting pulled out of that portal, Ooh. how much is in the shop? I mean, you were seeing like small metal balls of it, which would have been maybe like a couple of handfuls. So there is somewhere between it being harvested and it being in the shop, which is where the fixing occurs? I do not know. Mm. Or there's potentially the gnolls are bringing it here and it's all been fixed already. Okay. Wow. I feel like unless we've got a solid plan, maybe we should get out before we get caught. There's a there's... knock at the door. Yeah. There's a knock at the door. Oh. There's a heavy knock at the door. Everything okay in there? Oh, of course, my guy. It's just... It's really dark in here for some reason. Have you tried turning the lights on? No. Oh. Hey, Dusty Bro, can you do that? Dusty does that. Roll deception. Uh. With advantage, because you're well disguised and I like your voice. Uh, 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 hooray. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, try not to hurt yourself again, okay? Oh, uh, yeah. You got it, bro. Okay. And, and you hear footsteps leaving. Right, now the lights are on. <laughs> we should do anything right. else. I Just out of maybe curiosity, maybe it was just Travis bringing it up. He's going to go and take a look at those boards and see if there's anything, I don't know, clues. <gasps> are any of them your god? I don't know. Are there, are there any about, about my god? Nothing you can say. It just seems to be whatever they thought was kill. Yeah, I can't imagine they would think the Nightmare God is cool if they're all about getting rid of nightmares. Well, the Nightmare God wouldn't uh, have thought they were cool. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. When are you going to drop this one on her? Because I don't think she's going to be at her. Drop what on her? About the spa bomb? Oh, that's... That's uh... that's tomorrow, Bilmar's problem. <laughs> that's, that's next time I talk to her, I'll let her know that this is going on. But I... It's not like I have any clues about this bomb right now or how to stop it, so... But it's not here, seemingly. Seemingly not. I'm not seeing a big bomb anywhere around. Well, I'm out of ideas. Do you want to look for anything else? I can't think of anything else. Can I just throw down an investigate for general looking around and seeing anything interesting? Anything interesting? Sure. That is a four? You do not spot anything interesting. In fact, you're bored by by all of this already. <laughs> it's too gaudy in here and smells too much of smoke. I'm not smelling jack shit. Well, this was not as successful as I wanted. Well, we know that the bomb's not on site. We know that. Mm -hmm. And there's no portal here either. We know, yeah, we know there's no portal. We know that there's no that that the purple that there isn't just raw worms sat around here, and we didn't get in trouble. So I think we did okay. I think we certainly could have done worse. Any mission where we can get out in one piece is good by me. Should we we do that thing while we can still? Yes. Is there's not a back, right? No, no back. Right. Okay. I, I agree with leaving, but just as a last sort of glance around the place where these people live, can Dusty roll an insight on the high elves? Does he get the impression that they'd be down for how that worm's actually getting harvested? That's a five. Um, no, you you have no clue. Okay. You imagine, you know, it's probably fine, or as they might say, a oh, kill. Okay. Um, possibly even with a hearty my dude. Uh, yeah. So we'll 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 both help D stagger back out in disguise. Do 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 do. And shut the uh, shut the place back up. You turn the light out. Yeah, turn the light out. Yes. Um. Do you shut the door properly? And lock up, quote unquote. <laughs> lock up. I mean, I'm impressed that they still have any inventory left if their shop full of drugs is this poorly locked. But I suppose that's what the uh, guy over the road's for. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess once we've sort of walked away and regrouped, our options right now are, do we want to continue trying to investigate about this spall bomb, which we don't really have any clues about right now other than maybe try and get through that portal in the warehouse and find out what's up? Or do we go and track down the fake traps and, and follow that cart? Is it Wednesday? Can we get ahead to Wednesday if we wish to? So you just want to skip ahead to Wednesday? 
Or you want it to be Wednesday? If it is Wednesday, then I'm down for that. I'm gonna, I'm going to say it's not Wednesday. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. So we would have to wait a little bit longer. There's not a serious time crunch on us, but... Um, is the croak bottling plant that we walked past last episode the same as the place that's damming the river, or is it a different one? Uh, what you saw was, like, a, a, uh, a croak shop. So oh, okay. it's all, like, glass-fronted, and it has, like, glass shelves. There's lots of... The walls and floor are white. Um... And there's just these really elegant looking glass bottles etched with like croak. It's a privilege. I hate everything about it. Part of me wants to go in there and just shed a bit, but that doesn't really feel productive. No, probably not. So the threads we have to pull are Wait Well Wednesday, High Elf Spar Bomb, River to Maud Town, Crook Manor Rebuild, Staffing Problem, Slaves in the Warehouse. Worm in the warehouse. This is a lot to keep straight. Yeah. Um, so, considering that Bromara sort of made the big thrust of, of decisions about where to go last episode, I am very much up to sort of leading, leading this to, to Dean Dusty as to where now. Hmm. What does the Dusty Boy think? Well, only one thing on our to-do list involves breaking stuff. <laughs> Should we go break some stuff? You did such a good job. I feel like we should. Oh, thank you, Nixtress. He's, he's going to do a heckin' nuzzle. Headpats. Uh, roll to headpat. Just a straight d20. Hooray. Um, Romara, what's on your treasure list? I've got uh, the necklace that makes you fart maybe worse. Michael Newt, my mind Newt Newt. A handful of rusty screws. Daru's key ring. A scry time. Oh, uh, you should have a Nolotov cocktail on there as well. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I meant to divide up all the stuff that um, Valerie had at the end of last season, so that like at some point you had done a mutual distribute of your mutual possessions. No worries. It's yeah, fine. so you should have one lot of cocktail and one dynamite. Okay. Who is it that's got the napalm? Uh, I do. You are. Nobody should shake you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a rusk. <laughs> and a rusk. Okay, so yeah, you want to go beat some stuff up? Yeah. Off we go to fight some stuff. Uh, where are you going? Bottling plant? Park Manor? Multiversal music? <laughs> where you want to head? Uh, the bottling plant's where the smashing is, isn't it? Uh, the bottling plant, yes, that's that's the um, dam in the river that uh, Bromar has previously been to. Smashing can be anywhere if you smash hard enough. Right. Dusty looks a little haunt. <laughs> Have you got a I get to destroy things boner? I mean, Dee just mentioned smashing. <laughs> okay, um, roll to semi. <laughs> uh, what do I roll to semi? Just a straight D20. Is, is or a gay D20, I don't mind. It's, uh, I, was gonna I, say I would a... like to roll a queer D20. Thank roll you very a much. Queer, oh, but... Sorry, roll a queer D20. I botched. Botch. Botch. I botched uh, on semi. Yeah. You have, you have a, a raging boner that is very obvious to everyone. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Dusty, maybe not now. Like, uh, it, it's awkward to walk, I think. Dusty's blushing, but also kind of like, yeah, you know. <laughs> you know, you want this good dick. Romar is just, just trying to <laughs> eyes avoid, up. avoid paying attention to the situation. My eyes are up here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We don't know each other that well yet. So you head back to the polyarmory, by which time the the hard on for violence has started to die down a little bit. It, it hasn't persisted for four or more hours. No, <laughs> you don't need to contact a, a, some kind of apothecary. <laughs> you should still contact them, though. Tell them how sick. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my sick boner. <laughs> Sorry. Look at my sick boner. <laughs> Okay, so I spent months on that, but you can just do it. That's fine. <laughs> I, I mean, that's the problem of going through the wrong puberty. We we have the the disadvantage of of yeah. I can just I can just have a voice down here, can't I? I'm afraid so. Yeah. I want to know how that's a disadvantage, but okay. Um, because we have to fight to have it up here. Yeah, pretty much. You nearly made my eardrums bleed. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, players, players. 
<laughs> Players, calm your titties. I want to look at titties. Okay, Sorry, look at it. focus. <laughs> Roll to raging hard on again. No. Um, <laughs> you head back to the poly armory. You jump in the truck. Uh, and Oh, I got a 15 on Lara. <laughs> um, and Puff is still looking grumpy. Uh, I offer Puff half a rusk. Puff takes it, but just sort of sits, like, hunched at the side of the car, not looking at you, and sort of hate munching their rusk. Oh, you uh... dragon. Um, seeing this, Bromara offers the other half of the rusk. They snatch it off you and, and eat both half of, half of the rusk. Do you want to come and sit with me, little fella? Um, Puff looks you up and down and sort of snorts smoke in your face. And then just sort of turns and looks disinterested and, and, and puts some little weird shiny pebbles <laughs> in their ears. Um... I guess at some point they got scrypods, mm. and uh, they're, they're just listening to some, what you assume is uh, mine apothecary courtship, because <laughs> that seems to be what they're yeah, into. Yeah, they got some yeah. new music coming out or something soon. Uh, yeah, apparently they got back together. Yeah. We don't know if it's going to be as good as their <laughs> old stuff, though. <laughs> if they want to leave. <laughs> and you head off, bro, Mari, you know the way. You've been to the dam before. Yeah. Yeah, previously we didn't destroy it because we were like, ah, oh, maybe we can sort uh, the problem at the source. But as we've not really got a handle on that yet, it couldn't hurt to just destroy it for now. Okay, so you head to the large, I believe, wooden doors. Large yeah. wooden double doors, almost almost castly doors. And, uh, yeah, what, what do? Um... So, we talked about this before the episode started recording. Has Bromara had enough time to learn that new cantrip from last episode? Yeah, I think you've had enough time in the meantime. Okay, so, having taken a, a leaf out of Dusty's book and Dusty's lesson last episode, Bromara is going to attempt to use Gust to blow the doors open. Tell me about Gust. You can do a couple of things with it. You can use it to uh, push a creature away that's medium or smaller, but they get to do a strength check in response. Or you can move an object that is uh, neither held nor carried um, up to ten feet away from you, but it doesn't... And weigh no more than five pounds. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so you're going to use it on the door? I'm guessing it's not going to... Oh, yeah. Is that not going to be enough to push it It's a big fucking door. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much pounds is. Would would getting Dusty to do it as well be enough to maybe make the difference? Or I don't know how heavy doors slash weight is. It's an abstract thing that I'm not good at. How much does a pound weigh and how much does a door weigh? I, I don't know either of these things. I think doors are like five. It depends on what they're made from. A big badass door. Okay, a castle grid would be at least around five tons. Oh, right. okay. Ignore my plan, then. Apologies. I don't know how much five pounds is. A lot more than that. Oh. Um. Dusty's gonna try the door. Well, like, push it or knock on it or... Yeah, try push it. Okay, you push the door and it starts to very slowly move open. And in a moment, there is a a sort of scuttling and, and an angry looking lizard folk pokes their head around the door. Who are you? Me? Yes. I'm your fucking problem, mate. Is there enough of a gap in the door to smash his head in through it? Yeah. Roll initiative. Oh, hostilities instantly. 16. 20. 6. D so good at combat, you guys. You do the fighting well enough. They don't need to be. They have a duster. (laughs) I'm gifted in other ways. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have that surprise round. Does 8 hit? It does not hit. Do you want to use that initiative from earlier? Oh, yeah. Does 17 hit? <laughs> it does hit. Right. That's 10 bludgeoning damage to the top of its skull. Ouch. That looked like it really fucking hurt. And the, the lizard folk sort of stumbles back a bit. And the door swings a bit further open. Let's let's see some uh, perception from everyone. Uh, perception. 19. 10. 19. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good roll all around. So, Bromara, you know that this place is a little bit different from last time. 
Yeah. Last time there was like a bunch of gnomes and I think a donkey in the middle of the room that was helping turn this mm. mechanism that was helping run the thing. Now it appears to mostly be animal labour, but there are more gnolls on the like bottling line. Mm. So just scooping water out of the river, sticking it in bottles, some handing it to someone else who puts a stopper in, handing it to someone else who puts it in a box. Mm. Um, they are all chained to their respective workstations and they look exhausted. Meanwhile, there's oh. a, a couple of lizard folk who haven't noticed you yet. Ooh. Okay. They are about 25 feet away. They're about to notice us, I'm sure. I mean, we could just, like, flick the one that has a bit of a head injury out the door and pretend you're it. Oh, we could. Um, whose turn is it next on initiative? Uh, uh Brahmara. Okay. Um, Bromara is going to cast Armour of Agathis. Uh, it is a spell that is done on myself. Uh, I basically get a protective armour around me that's a sort of spe- spectral frost over all my gear. I get five temporary hit points for the next hour, and anything that hits me with a melee attack takes five cold damage. Ooh. Dusty? I am going to grapple to try and drag the lizard folk out the door. Okay, take an uncontested grapple check. Yeah, okay, you can... It's, it's slow, but you can drag him out of the door. Okay. Um, is he conscious, unconscious, or dead? He's conscious, and he's sort of hissing at you a bit. Okay, I'm just going to concentrate on sort of a nice little headlock. I mean, you've already had an action, so yeah, I can say you're going to keep him grapple. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's going to roll to try and struggle out of that, so can I have a strength check? 19. 70. Does not work. Going nowhere. So yeah, going nowhere. He's going to struggle and hiss and, and sort of try and elbow you in the crotch. But that's that's about all we're getting from that. What that do you do? Do I have to roll for burner again? <laughs> I, I don't know how into CBT is Dusty. Learning all sorts this episode. <laughs> Learning 18. new and new things. 18. Uh, yep, you managed to hide the hard hog. Nice. How that do do? D will not stand for the bashing. Of Dusty's bishop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, 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 you know, you don't bash my bishop. <laughs> don't bash. That's my bishop, that. <laughs> and we'll and we'll strike the lizard folks bishop instead. <laughs> uh, roll with advantage because he's grappled. Sixteen. Okay, that is definitely a hit. Let's see Hooray. some damage. Seven bludgeoning damage. Hooray! Oh, it's not looking healthy. It. You smash it right in the uh, in the junk, and you just hear it. <laughs> you had a safe word. <laughs> I don't think you managed it, uh, Bromara. Yeah. What are you gonna do to 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 Wheezy McWeezerson? Bromara's gonna is gonna. Go in for an attack with the uh, with the mace. In, are we still focusing on the balls, or? Uh, Bromara is less interested in the balls specifically. Just maybe, maybe try and knock this thing out, make it lose consciousness, perhaps. Headshot. Yeah. Again with advantage because grappled. Uh, so that's eleven. Does eleven hit? Is that eleven? Oh, sorry. I see you. Yes. Uh, eleven. That does not hit. Oh. He failed to hit a stationary held in place target. Well, maybe Bromara was trying to avoid hitting uh, Dusty, who was caught up in a bit of a grapple. Indeed. So, was, Dusty. Was on the side of caution. Oh, what are you going to do? How many turns would you say it takes to suffocate it? Depends how you want to go about that. How dirty is the floor? Is there at least, like, enough muck that I could fill someone's nose and mouth with it and choke them out and. There wouldn't be like, much they could do. Like, underneath the door, there is... Yeah, there appears to be, like, a bit of dirt. It's probably, like, river silt that they've sort of picked up a bit during their dredging. Oh, really nice. Probably a few broken bottles in it as well, yeah? Oh, yeah, I mean, probably someone's dropped a few as well. Okay, Dusty's going to use Mold Earth to manipulate just as much dirt as he can cram into any holes in this lizard's face. Oh. Just his face, you say. Right, let's see what do. Do you want a strength check or something for that? Uh, I don't know. Does it require a check? It doesn't, but it doesn't have specific suffocation rules. I'm going to roll a check then. 
Okay, yep. Using your Moldale Earth, you sort of just... Is that like a a, a, a hand gesture? Mm-hmm. Like a, a swishy at the floor? And then sort of directed towards your target? Yeah, just like twist of hand and it starts creeping up the lizard folk mm-hmm. in just a very menacing manner. All right, so it's not just floor face, it's it crawls up their body. Ooh, I like it. Oh yeah, it's it's cruel. It's you can see it coming and they can't do anything about it. So it it start the the lizard folk starts to panic as it can feel something slithering up its leg and you can hear a sort of this like a, a sound like the last few grains of sand passing through a, an egg timer as it just rattles around and up his body and it flies into his nose and ears and mouth and, and tear ducts until it just looks like slightly concreted over face. And it all seems to set almost completely solid. There's just this muffled howling like a wounded animal. Like imagine an animal just painfully stuck in a bear trap. It's really in a lot of pain. But it's also muffled somehow, and nothing it can do is going to stop it getting away from this. Uh, and after a few moments, it it stops kicking and thrashing, and is limp in your arms. Well, it just died in your arms tonight. <laughs> Must have been, Must have been in your face. some spell you cast. Just died in your arms tonight. What do? So I think that's a free disguise for day. It be. Do you have a plan for how to to take advantage of of being disguised? Well, I think it's just easy for us to get the jump on the next combat encounter. You're hoping to sort of just like bluff something about why you're taking us in, and then aha, surprise round again. Oh, I was thinking I could walk over, draw their attention, and I know Dusty's not a fan of it, but shoot them in the back. Anything you want. And when that maybe fails, then you can smash them. Yes. Dusty couldn't be more down for this plan. Oh. Okay, so Dee's going to transform into a lizard folk and then lead you both in? Uh, no, Dee will go in and attempt to gather their attention so that the other lizard folk are looking away from the door. Okay, how do you want to go about that? What's exactly opposite the door? So you've got this large thing in the middle of the room room that is being turned and you assume that's how all of the mechanics in the room are being operated Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a large device it has like bars that uh, appear to be turning with the thing as it turns and those are sort of leading down to various bits of equipment some sort of forge that is like automatically casting the uh, glass into bottles Um, and then there is Obviously, like, a a production line where the bottles are being pulled along. You have uh, somebody etching them, somebody else filling them, somebody else putting the lids on, somebody else um, putting the bottles into boxes, and then as the box is filled up, they are passing it to uh, another person who is uh, loading it onto the back of a cart pulled by a donkey. Hmm. Sounds like it'd be noisy. And there's about three other lizard folk kicking around. And like a like an office with those like slap lines that appear to be closed. Hmm. Is it really noisy? It seems like it would be. Yeah, it's fairly noisy. Which is probably why no one else has come to challenge the door. What was the lizard folk armed with? A heavy club, a javelin, and a spike shield. Um D will take the javelin. Does it seem like the other lizard folk are also carrying the club around? Yeah, it appears they're all pretty similarly equipped. Uh, so D will wander in and try and be a little conspicuous. In what way? Well, I think just carrying the javelin around instead of the club might be a little conspicuous. And maybe doing what I can to draw attention to myself, swaying the tail that I now have, looking around, I guess, as I wander away from the door. Okay, so you're heading towards the gnome production line, or...? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as far from the door, while keeping them in line of the door as possible. Okay, you definitely draw the attention of two of the lizard folk, and they wander over to you. Here, get back to your post. 
Someone's supposed to be guarding the door. Anyone could wander in. Someone already did wander in. And I'm going to mentally urge them to use the opportunity to sneak in. Is is this uh, me and Dusty's prompt to run in and start hitting people? Well, at least get a good position. Dusty has four javelins. So if I fly into a rage and eat one of those, would that be okay? Yeah, so yeah, you can wander in. And, mm-hmm. and start yeeting. Okay, so I'm down to one rage left. Are they within 30 foot? Yeah. 22 to hit? Definitely. Okay. Seven piercing. Dusty's going to just walk right in, throw a javelin and try and burst it out the chest of one of the lizard folk looking at Diddy. Okay, you throw it, you throw it true, and it hits and, and sort of digs into the skin, but not very deeply. And then it sort of falls down slightly and pulls like a, a reasonable sized chunk out of this person's shoulder and they drop their shield. At which point Bramara wants to try and get a nice uh, surprise attack in and smack that thing in the wounded shoulder with the mace. Okay, so you're going to rush across the room? Yep. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, 21. Definitely a hit? Yep. Uh, what? How did you get zero? That's not even an option. That's not an option. I don't know how that happened. Um, one second. Uh, that is two damage. That was a very bad roll. They're looking uncomfortable. That's something. That's fine. I'm close by, so if they try and hit me, it's going to be a bad time for them. Indeed. So the first one is going to take a swing at Bromara for being close and recently done a hurty. With their heavy club. That's a six. That's not going to do it. Plus, uh, do they have to successfully hit me to do the thing? Uh, okay, they don't take the cold damage because they, they did not hit me. So they just sort of swing in front of you in a rage, but obviously their injury is throwing them off a little yeah. bit. Uh, we move on to... Dusty. Dusty is going to... Charge forward in his rage and go for the lizard folk that was speaking to D that hasn't been injured yet. Okay. I botched. Oh no. Okay, you go rushing towards them, but you trip over and eat shit. Uh, so you're going to be prone. I didn't want to eat shit though. <laughs> I mean, not literally. I don't think Dusty wanted to figuratively. I, I, yeah, I no. didn't want to eat your, your metaphorical shit either. I just. <laughs> I just wanted to do the smacky with the sticky. I'm afraid you tripped on your own booties. Okay, that's that's fine. Oh, they're not the booties. The tenderest of butt meats. The tenderest of butt meats. So, (laughs) the next lizard folk is going to take a swing at Bromar again. 18's going to hit. Okay, that's 8 damage. Uh, That's fine. Most of that comes out of temporary hit points, and they take five damage in response. Following their swing, they're going to take a bite at you. That's another 18. That's going to hit me again. And that's a three. And they take another five damage. Not looking very healthy. At this point, the third lizard folk that hadn't previously noticed you is going to uh, notice you and start heading over. But they they don't make it to you in time. Okay. So next up is D. Still in disguise. Um, is it? Is my cover blown? Do they know that I'm not a lizard? I mean, you you confidently said someone's already made it in. So these two will probably it could have been a warning. Yeah. Let's see how they feel about it. <laughs> oh, that's a crit. Saw right through me. Um, and that's also a crit. Well done, everyone. <laughs> yeah, they they know as shit. What about the third one? The the third one? That's a good question. Let's find out together. Thirteen. They know too. Where's all oh. our crits? I don't know. Where are your Man. crits? We Who's crits? using them all? John, learn, learn to share crits. Are you holding them in the little <laughs> DM vault? Lizard brain seems like a, a misnomer at this point. Um... Well, D will go for the one who's pretty banged up already. That's a hit. Hooray. So he's attacking the first one or the second one? 
The one that had already taken a good amount of damage. The, the one that took the shoulder damage, yeah? Yes. Okay. Uh, Bromara, back to you. Bromara is going to continue doing the melee damage nice up and close, because that seems like a good idea while, while dealing frost revenge damage. So uh, another mace attack. Fifteen on yep. the, uh, the, the one that's looking the worst off. Sold. Five damage. Okay. Uh, this one is bloodied uh, and looking really rough. Uh, looks a bit dazed, perhaps. Mm, not well at all. So, the lizard that just arrived is going to take a swing at Dusty. That's an 11. Aww, no. And then they're going to go in with a bite for also 11. Aww, still no. <laughs> it's not like you're like, oh, so cute that you thought you could hurt me. Not get advantage for attacking someone who's prone on the floor. Well, in that case, one of those hits, that would be the bad. Hang on a second, hang. Let me check my DM screen. Yeah. They do. And you have disadvantage on attacks from that position. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, so with the bite, have, having failed to hit you on the floor, not moving... They then sort of just swoop down a bit and try and, like, bite your shoulder. And that's four piercing damage. Um, Dust is still in his rage. I have resistance to piercing. So two. Take two damage, then. I will. Just you watch. I will. I'm watching. It's your go. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do the thing where I got temporary hit points off the one with... So you're lying on the floor prone at the feet of the lizard folk that's just bitten you. What are you going to do? Um, Bite back. I'm not going to bite back. I'm going to if you're going to fight from the ground, you're going to have disadvantage. I don't want that. How are you going to not have disadvantage? Tell us your cool thing that you might do. The part of the shoulder that's in the mouth of the lizard folk is going to crumble away, as is the rest of Duster. He's going to reconstitute himself, stood over the lizard that had bent down to bite him, using Ooh. his mold earth cantrip to just twist his entire body into a looming position. Nice! <laughs> okay, on to the other lizard folk. That was cool as fuck! Yeah! <laughs> okay, so this one is going to attack... Brilmara seems to have done the most damage so far, so it's going to be a bite. Five. Five's not going to hit! <laughs> And a club, 15. Uh, let me double check. Does 15 hit? 15 does hit. Uh, uh, 7 what's... damage. Okay, uh, that, that one takes 5 damage in response. That one is also not look ter- looking terribly well. The stunned one is just going to stagger a bit. Moving us on to D. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Do you all think Kool Aid Man when you do that? <laughs> no, I was thinking of Randy Savage, but yeah, uh, yay! Yeah. Both our reference points we don't really have over here so much. I don't know. I used to watch WWF when I was little. Oh yeah, I suppose yeah. Definitely don't have the Kool Aid Man. Long, long, long before I had any friends, I used to have a little, a uh, like nineteen seventies full size tape dictaphone, and I used to record fake radio shows. Where I would often interview the macho man Randy Savage, who was always constipated. <laughs> it was always the joke. <laughs> Ooh, yeah! I'll get this out someday, boy! <laughs> Ooh, yeah! Or not! So, yeah, what's D doing? D will continue to go at it. The one D had been engaged with. Okay, yeah. Uh, 16, that is a hit. Hurrah! Oh, oh. Well, a two could be better. The dizzy one is just gushing blood from various points on its body and face. Uh, it looks rough. You're surprised it's still standing, to be honest. Uh, okay, Lizard 3 is somewhat humbled by uh, a now looming dust creature that just loomed up in front of him. Um, he's gonna go with the javelin because it's it, it's it's a bit longer and he feels a bit safer attacking from that. Sorry, eighteen. That's it. That's six piercing damage. That's three piercing damage. It is three piercing damage. How about you? Okay. 
Dust is going to look down and smile at it. Yep. And then what? Is it still holding the end of the javelin that's not sticking in me? Yes. Okay. Dust is going to turn slightly to knock it off of balance and sort of pirouette round in a circle to bring the warhammer down on it. Does 11 hit? It does not hit. Oh, I tried being you, too fancy. You're swinging it a bit fast, and you you let you sort of swing it round a couple of times, and you go to hit it with the warhammer and let go of the javelin, and it just spins off, just thrown by your centrifuge. What the warhammer or the javelin? The the javelin and the lizard folk that was attached to it. Oh, okay. Wee, wee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spinning. I'm spinning. Um. So that brings us to the. Fucking bleeding lizard folk who's going to try and just stagger away. There is just blood pouring out of its mouth uh, and various wounds. Can I potentially use my turn that I believe was coming up to use Gust to blow Dusty into range for an opportunity attack? Dusty's standing slightly behind you because of the booking it earlier thing. If you want to blow Dusty towards the now pirouetting away one... I, c- I can go for that. I want to have a good excuse to use the cool new cantrip that I learned from Dusty. Mm. So, uh... Bomari is going to use Gust to blow Dusty towards the pirouetting away, uh... Lizard. Okay. So, you cast Gust and, like, the second Dusty spots what you're doing, it's still kind of spinning a bit from... From the failed <laughs> attack, and now the weight of the warhammer out in front, um, but spots what you're doing, goes into mold earth mode, and sort of makes themselves almost atomized yeah, in in the spot, and then is just blown straight forward the windstream. towards the uh, the now sort of pirouetting away one, reforms kind of over the lizard folk, <laughs> who does for a moment get trapped within. But as Dusty hasn't quite reformed enough to like completely solidify it, they only take two damage. But Dusty is now in range. To... But Dusty is well in range. <laughs> uh, which brings us to the other lizard folk, who's going to take a club to D twenty one. Yeah. Six bludgeoning damage. Ouch. And it's going to follow that with a bite. Eleven. No. Uh, so they're going to sort of snap at you, but you move just out of the way in time. Uh, what are you going to do in response, D? The mace is the way. Oh, nice. Okay, you you crack it solidly on the snoot. Roll damage. Mace to the face. Oh, Jesus. You smack it on the snoot so hard, blood just sprays up you straight out of its nostrils. Oh. Mm, uh, one is not like that. One, one of its eyes just sort of flies out, but it's still kind of attached. Uh, it's it's crunched and there's blood drooling out of its mouth, uh, and it just kind of sits down in front of you. Uh, it it doesn't appear to be dead, but it's really not healthy. Romara, what do? Um, do I put this thing out of its misery? You've got two looking really rough and one looking. Kind of fine, but a bit... <coughs> Team, what do you reckon? Um, I, 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 D is inclined to. I mean, if, if we need someone to answer questions, there's whoever's cowering in the office right now, so... Okay, uh, mace time. 22. <laughs> that is a definite hit. You swing the mace around, and you just... How, how badly do you want to break this thing that is... It's I, already dead. I, I want to take this thing out as quick as possible so that it doesn't have to keep suffering. Okay, so you take its already sort of its slightly concave head now, yeah. and you just smack that. And this time, you definitely hear the skull just go. Yeah, aim for the soft spot. Yeah, and the, and the soft spot sort of oozes out the top and out of its nostrils, and, and maybe some out of its mouth as well. Ooh. There is uh, and like chunks of bone and stuff. Mm. It's yeah. You still got that? Have you got prestidigitation? Because cleaning would be just real handy I right now. I don't believe 
do. Uh, no, maybe Dusty will link have, you. I don't have prestidigitation. Okay. So. I think D does. The uh, the lizard folk that narrowly escaped a, 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 a dusty suffocation, or a dustication, if you will, is going to mm. just spin round and just try and thwack Dusty with club. That's a 23. That hits. Seven bludgeoning. Three. Mm-hmm. And that's going to follow up with another heavy. Uh, that is 18. Also hits. Four. Two. How, how are you looking, Dusty? Fine. She's fine. Okay. This is fine. This is fine, fine, fine. Bromara. Mm-hmm. You know, said it to me, Snowy Agra Blaine. What the? Like you bum bum now. Indeed. <laughs> uh, what, what have we got left? Uh, you've got uh, one that is bleeding and sort of staggering away. You've got one that is in a scrap with Dusty. Uh, is the healthier one the one in the scrap with Dusty? Yes. Okay. And um, and the, the the gnomes that are working the production line look real fucking nervous right now. Yeah. Bromara's going to go and attack the, uh, the, the healthier looking one. Okay. Uh, so, mace to the face. Mace to the face. Uh, 16. 16. And that, that is a hit. That I, I am glad to hear. That's seven bludgeoning damage. Cool. Uh, yeah, you smack that lizard folk and they're yeah they're just sort of face to one side a bit a little bit of a little bit of a spit of blood but all good ish as far as it goes and next up we have that very lizard who's gonna bite back at bromara eight eight does not hit and again seven (laughs) does not hit it's not having a good day no how hard did you hit it damn dusty does 21 hit with a warhammer fuck yes it does how does eight test? Um, it's sort of irony. Oh, okay. Sort of it's, copper taste. Copper, around. coppery, irony taste. Uh, next up, we have the staggering lizard folk, who's going to continue to staz- stagger away, and then we have D. All right. Um, how far did the other lizard folk make it? Um, maybe fifteen stagger. feet. They're not moving very fast. Oh. They are seriously fucking injured. Okay. Is there a minimum distance for the light crossbow? No. A minimum distance? I don't know, does it say on that? I think you can crossbow someone point blank in the face if you want to. Yeah. It's not like, say, a javelin, which is like 30 to 120, right? The first number is your accurate range, your second range is your at a disadvantage range. 80, 30. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought I had to have a feat for it. Maybe they changed that. Uh, light crossbow to the staggery one. 16, straight in the back. It literally, as the uh, bolt hits it in the back, it just zonks straight forward, crashes on the floor, into a pile of of empty boxes, which just sort of fall over. The gnomes are looking even more distressed by what's going on. Can I roll insight on that? Sure. Why are they bothered that the people that are trapping them are getting hurt? Okay, you roll the 20 on Insight, so for that you can tell that they are chained to things and there are people attacking the only people in this room that can move. Okay, so they're not... They're scared of the people that just walked in here and started killing people. Oh, okay, that's fine. As long as they are scared of us and not scared for them. Like, oh no, don't kill the lizard folk, that would be problematic because of reasons. This is fine, they'll calm down. You should... You should fear us. Dusty, <laughs> what do? Oh, is it my turn again? Yeah. And there's just one lizard folk left. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm going to try and just crush its skull in. Oh. Does a 15 help with that? Spot on. Does 10 bludgeoning damage work? Yeah, you swing the, the warhammer, you take its head off, and the head just sort of flies across... And lands sort of bobbing in the the damned river. <laughs> oh, that's ugly. Da, 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 da. Just is going to remember to use his all-consuming rage this time mm-hmm. to get six temporary hit points out of just consuming that dead. Is that per body or? Uh, every time I knock someone to zero hit points, I can have con mod plus barbarian level. In temporary hit points. It's the ones that Dusty finishes off. Yeah. Okay. 
So, um, with that head splashing into the thing, you have completed my lizard folk puzzle. Yay. Congratulations! Next time, I might let you have a look around the cavern and find out what's up with these gnomes. Thank you very much for joining Hooray. us. I have been the mistress of this dungeon. I am Jane Eris Magnet. I can be found on Twitter and YouTube as Maniac Janiac. I'm on SoundCloud as Jane Eris Magnet, where you might be listening to this now. I'm also on StoneMonkeyRadio.blog, where I write things. Twitch.tv slash Janiac, where I stream on Tuesday and Thursday nights. Janiac.redbubble.com, where you can get one of my fantastic t-shirts and patreon.com slash stonedmonkeyradio. As little as a dollar a month would be super helpful. Hi, this is Nick, and you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and stream at the Nick Flair. And if you'd like to read um, some media analysis and self-reflections that I'm writing, uh, you can follow my blog at storieswithnick.blog. I'm Laura K. Buzz in pretty much all of the places. Laura K. Buzz on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Patreon, that's the one that pays the bills. You can find everything I publish at laurakbuzz.com. That's, you know, freelance stuff, podcasts, videos, written articles, everything ends up there. I've got some books. There's Uncomfortable Labels, which is a book about being gay and trans and on the autism spectrum. It is available now where books are sold. If you want it as an audio book, it's at laurakbuzzstore.com. There's also Things I Learned from Mario's Butt, which is releasing in October 2020. You can you can pre-order that now through Unbound. Other than that, I am on Pixel Squirt, which is a video game porn review podcast. I'm on Podquisition, where me, Jim Sterling, and Comrade Zimmerman talk about mostly about video games and whether they're perfect or just great, but also a little bit lefty politics. I'm on Dice Funk, I'm on seasons 3, 4, 5, and 6, it's a, another D&D show, uh, season 3 is about escaping a, a rainbow barrier town, season 4 is about overthrowing capitalism, season 5 is about space and, and colonialism, and season 6, it's about the planes and we're still sort of working out what the grander themes there are. I think that's everything. I'm Becky. I can be found as at Becky Two O on Twitter. The last series that we recorded, Badly Designated Heroes, can be found under Curiosity Epidemic on SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube, and Apple Podcasts. We didn't forget to record credits for James. He just doesn't have any social media presence whatsoever. And we'll see you again sometime. Oh, bye. Bye. bye.